hello everybody this is dimple here again welcoming you all back to my uh, next tutorial on android framework components previous uh, videos we have been seeing what is the device tree the concept of device tree the importance and in my last session i have also explained the syntax of device tree so today i would like to show an example of how this dtsi file looks the contents of those files so uh, if we take the normal uh, aosp code released by google uh, we will not uh, exactly find this dtsi files because these dtsi files contain the hardware related information which has to be added by the phone manufacturers and um, soc software chip developers okay so since google is releasing only the framework part of the code the software part of the code it does not contain the hardware related information and hence these dtsi files cannot be obtained through the uh, open source aosp vc so here i have taken one of the example from one of the uh, device manufacturer for security reasons i have masked a few uh, items here so for now let's imagine uh, we are some manufacturer like samsung or oneplus or anything and we have a base dot dtsi files so i will show the contents of what a dtsi file may contain uh, so uh, it is this base dot dtsi files is uh, depending on few other files so what we do when we depend on few other files if we want to include the code of that file we will just uh, do this hash include so hash include and here as i already told this is the syntax this is the root and model i have masked it and compatible with compatible means uh, with which driver my device is compatible so here i have taken qualcomm and the driver is sdm660 okay this is the uh, software soc software on chip so qualcomm board few uh, attributes related to qualcomm the board id the pmic id all that are there and then uh, different uh, attributes like the touch the dialer the voice all those parameters are defined here so usb delay usb suspend the charging details uh, 2g and um, all such things are defined here uh, so low temperature warning sound it if it has to be enabled or no so the same file uh, this is a continuation so yeah the different gpio keys which and all which is the output key uh, which is the uh, input key all those things are defined here so camera support camera 0 camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 so since this is the base we have disabled everything here okay um, on our upper specific device whichever camera we want if it's dual camera or quad camera we can enable it that time so the different regulators the status of those regulators all those are disabled in the base so camera rear actuator led which led should be disabled which LED should be enabled all those things we can define here okay this is a snapshot of how so uh, whatever things like your WLAN details your Wi-Fi details and uh, your NFC if your device is supporting NFC NFC details the camera um, the thermal uh, regulators all these things the LEDs all the hardware related features we can define in this base file now i have one of the variant variant one i have you think so what this variant one will do it will inherit all the properties of the base plus it will have its own specific properties so it to include the properties of the base here we have to do ash include base dot dtsi file whichever file i showed here that file we have to hash include here so that time it will support both the base as well as this one so sensors uh, to enable the sensors there is one dtsi file you think sensor.dtsi file so i have to include that sensor.dtsi files uh, so the different variants what it will do it will just start including all the necessary dtsi files okay so to enable some controller uh, we are 
going and adding that DTSI file for touch related features there is one specific DTSI file so we'll just do hash include touch dot DTSI okay audio for audio uh, specific properties we have specific audio dot DTSI you can think so I will do hash include audio dot DTSI file okay and few other properties I will define and LED I have LED dot DTSI file so I will include that here so red LED green LED whichever color I want specific I can define here this is one of the variant okay so uh, this is the continuation as i told if i support nfc then there are separate nfc uh, related uh, information is captured in separate dtsi files so i can just do hash include of those dtsi files and uh, usb that is also hardware uh, driver so uh, hash include usb dot dtsi files for keypad yes that is also containing hardware driver so keypad dot dtsi files i can add and battery battery related uh, uh, information configurations are stored in battery dot dtsi you can take an example so i will just do hash include battery dot dtsi file so and few common properties i can define the audio the speaker audio jack the light sensor these are the different values which we can uh, define the display timeout keypad sound key light all such things okay hardware beep the different things if my device is having scanner then i can include scanner dot dtsi file so yeah that's all so you all saw the base dot dtsi file which includes more detail of every feature here i have taken a code snippet sample which this does not have much details but yeah the base will contain all the details and the different variants what it will do mostly we see everywhere uh, ash include ash include is used that means we are taking the already available features somewhere all these hardware configurations are already defined instead of defining them again whenever we create a new version instead of defining again we, we are just making use of this already available uh, definite uh, version configuration and then we are just doing hash include okay uh, so that's it i hope this was informative and helpful i'll see you all in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye